Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a very gentle, very special bar of soap using chamomile in an infusion in olive oil. I got these uh, chamomile flower botanicals from Wholesale Supply Plus um, and I'm going to put them in a mason jar with and then olive oil over the top, put it in a crock pot filled with water and then put it on warm and let it go for about three days and it will leach out all the wonderful properties out of the chamomile into the oil and that's what I'll be using in the soap and for the fragrance from Nurture Soap I have this lavender and chamomile and this is a really beautiful lavender scent. If you've watched any of my earlier videos, you know I'm not a huge lavender fan. I'm real picky about my lavender scents. This smells divine. Uh, for the colors that I'm going to be using, because I want this really gentle and kind of earthy, I'm going to use purple Brazilian clay and yellow Brazilian clay. So the clays will be my colorant. I'm going to use the infused olive oil in there for my liquid portion. I'm actually tossing back and forth between aloe vera juice and buttermilk. And I think I'm leaning towards using buttermilk because of all the just gentle and wonderful skin properties. In fact, I'm gonna use buttermilk. I'm making my mind up. <laughs> so this will be a buttermilk soap with my infused oils, this wonderful fragrance. I'm gonna pull everything together, get my hair pulled back, get my safety gear on, and we'll make some lavender and chamomile soap in a couple days after the infusion. I gotta make that. So we'll be back in a few days to make this soap. So I wanted to show you, uh, this is the chamomile buds in olive oil and I've uh, steeped this in a crock pot on low to warm for a couple of days. And the key is you want to make sure that there's always water in the crock pot, water up to the level to surround it. If you let the crock pot run dry, um, you can get into trouble with your glass breaking. And I always recommend using a mason jar because it's tempered glass, it's a little sturdier and it can hold up to that. But that's one way. I do solar infusion, but this is another way to quickly infuse your herbs into um, your oils. And so I'm gonna go ahead and strain off all these herbs now. And then this oil will be just rich and have all the wonderful scent of the chamomile as well as any of the um, herbal properties of the chamomile will now be into the oil. So I'm just going to let this drain and strain. It takes a little while. It's a bit messy. And, um, and then I'll measure off my correct amount for the soap. And we'll move on to the next step. Strained oil, And you can see it has this beautiful golden color. And that's from the chamomile buds. I just wanted to show you that it will change the color of your oil a little, but I think it's lovely and it smells great. So I've got all my butters and oils melted and cooled and to my oil portion here I have organic colloidal oats, kale and clay, and the fragrance as all in here, my chamomile lavender and one of the oils of course is that chamomile infused olive oil. And here is my buttermilk which is so luscious. To my buttermilk I have added uh, Tussa silk fibers, some sodium lactate, and just a little bit of titanium dioxide. Uh, and the reason I put the TD in there is because the buttermilk got very yellow and um, this fragrance says that it can discolor to a light tan. And I just wanted to make sure that this soap was on the lighter side. So there's a little TD in there. So we're gonna hand stir this um, until it's well and incorporated and then we'll go ahead and um, stick blend each color as needed. I absolutely love using buttermilk in soap, my um, raw organic buttermilk, and this is full. This is 100% buttermilk for the liquid, um, and I froze it into like a slushy consistency, and I still gave it an ice bath to keep it on the cool side um, when you're working with milks. That's really important to keep them on the cool side when you're prepping them with the lye, um, but I just really love buttermilk and soap. I like it as much as I like goat milk soap, and that's saying a lot because, you know, goat milk soap has an awesome reputation. Everybody knows it's wonderful, um, unless you have allergies, but if you don't have uh, goat milk allergies, it's a wonderful bar, and I actually think buttermilk is comparable to goat milk soap for the skin benefits and um, just the creamy feel, it makes a wonderful lather. 
So get this really well and mixed to my, uh, so I'm using the purple Brazilian and the yellow Brazilian clays, and I do have a little bit of mica colors that I'm gonna add to them just to give them a boost, because they're very soft colors. And um, because this does have some discoloring, I just wanna make sure that the colors pop. So just a little touch, maybe a half a teaspoon of each of the micas to give it a boost. So we'll pull this over and start splitting off for our beautiful colors. 